Hey, remember back in 2019 when they did a tabletop exercise called Event 201, which wargamed the entire scenario of a worldwide pandemic where millions would die, including fake news reports, supposedly just before it happened for real? Well, guess what they were drilling in 2021? There are growing questions today around a new and deadly outbreak. Scientists determined that this monkeypox virus was engineered. With limited antiviral drugs and no known effective treatments, countries around the world are struggling to control another pandemic with already devastating effects. Seeing far fewer cases in countries where governments took early and decisive action. And some international experts are urging the WHO to adopt a phased approach to warnings. Okay, well, I'm going to try and make this a quick follow up to my last video which I put out on Thursday, and at that time the first case of monkeypox was being reported in Massachusetts and a man being hospitalized. And indeed, in just 24 hours basically, someone just brought this to my attention last night uh, about this NTI exercise. And NTI, the Nuclear Threat Initiative, not nuclear, as someone pointed out that I said last time. But indeed, nuclear, nuclear... <laughs> I don't care because I don't believe I don't believe the nuclears are doing what they say with the nucleus anyways that's a complete other rabbit trail not for today NTI is it's just basically just another nonprofit CIA front organizations to create propaganda that's what they do and yes it's about the nuclear threat but also you know all the threats all the global threats they're all the same you know, there are, we all need more global governance to counter threats. So we got to find all the threats, right? Uh, if only we had a germ team that could go around and could go around and, and identify threats faster. And, and oh, maybe they'll think of something like that one of these days. But no, okay. So whatever. March of 2021. I guess they released it. They released the stuff in November of 2021 last year. But they actually did the exercise in March. In March 2021, NTI partnered with the Munich Security Conference to conduct a tabletop exercise on reducing high-consequence biological threats. The exercise examined gaps in national and international biosecurity and pandemic preparedness architectures, blah, 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 blah. Exploring opportunities to improve prevention and response capabilities for high-consequence biological events. Okay, so this was a, a joint exercise with NTI and the Munich Security Conference. And we, they also would like to thank Talus Analytics for developing the epidemiological model underpinning this exercise. And long story short, for producing the exercise videos. I wonder if they did the 2001. I think that that's that GNN. I've seen that logo before. That fake, that fake logo. It's probably the same people who did to the uh, event 201. At Nuclear Threat Initiative, we'd also like to thank members of the project team who were instrumental to the success. Dr. Andrew. Uh, Hebler, who's now serving in government at the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, who jointly led the development and planning of this exercise with Jamie M. Yassif, Dr. Kevin uh, Opre, Christopher R. Isaac, provided valuable research, and Amanda Kogan was instrumental in or organizing the exercise event. See, so yeah, Dr. Andrew Hebler would probably be somebody to look into a little bit more as he's now serving in the White House, or was in 2021. But yeah, long story short, they basically did their little Dungeons and Dragons tabletop exercise of a monkeypox epidemic. Here, I'll just read this summary. 
The exercise scenario portrayed a deadly global pandemic involving an unusual strain of monkeypox virus that emerged in the fictional nation of Brinia and spread globally over 18 months. I mean, you know you're doing a very useful tabletop simulation of a worldwide event when you're making up fictional countries as part of your exercise. <sighs> Ultimately, the exercise scenario revealed that the initial outbreak was caused by a terrorist attack using a pathogen engineered in a laboratory with inadequate biosafety and biosecurity provisions and weak oversight. By the end of the exercise, the fictional pandemic resulted in more than 3 billion cases and 270 million fatalities. Discussion among exercise participants led to the following key findings. Weak global detection, assessment, and warning of pandemic risks. Gaps in national level preparedness. Gaps in biological research governance. Insufficient financing of international preparedness for pandemics. I mean, yeah, shouldn't they just have just mailed this to Bill Gates? You know, instead of, like, what? Uh, we haven't spent billions enough. I mean, this is insane when you think that this is going on in the midst of all the, the COVID jab rollouts and everything. So yeah, 270 million fatalities is what their little uh, scenario projected. And this is, was a best case scenario, I suppose. <laughs> Just makes no sense. But um, especially when you, yeah, you realize that monkeypox has supposedly been around since the 70s and it was discovered in the 50s in monkeys in Africa, which sounds completely legit, right? Because diseases just evolve um, according to the science. And uh, they, there's new ones popping up all the time, especially, especially as you enter into the modern era with all of our modern technology and modern biochemical advancements. We just seem to get more and more natural diseases that just pop up in places like Africa and wet markets in China and all this stuff. But this is what's kind of crazy is that they, they got some graphs here that says... It was projecting for 2022, by the way, in their little model. So May, May 15, 2022 is when the outbreak in Brinia occurs. And then by January of 2023, 70 million cases and 1.3 million deaths. And then by May of the following year, 27 million. And then December, 271. And this is best case scenario because there's no treatment once you get it, supposedly, but they do have vaccines, so all is well. No need to worry. I'm sure they're the most safe and effective monkeypox vaccines you could hope for. But okay, you gotta read this. This is just crazy that like people, educated people think this is this is just ridiculous. So yeah, there's move one, move two, and move three. And by move three, so 12 months after the initial outbreak, more than 480 million cases and 27 million fatalities globally. At this stage, participants learned that the pandemic was caused by a regional bio participants. It literally is like Dungeons and Dragons. And they all just have to sit there and like, I don't know. <laughs> At this stage, participants learned that the pandemic was caused by a regional bioterror attack that far exceeded the perpetrator's goals. Specifically, Brinian intelligence reveals that the engineered monkeypox virus was developed illicitly at the fictional country of Arnica, Arnica's leading institute for virology. Arnica, population 75 million, has a history of conflict with neighboring Brinia. An independent Arnican terrorist group, the SPA, had worked with sympathetic laboratory scientists to engineer a highly contagious deadly pathogen and disperse it at crowded train stations in Brinia during the national holiday, when much of the population was traveling domestically and inter internationally. The SPA had exploited the Arnican government's weak oversight of its bioscience research laboratories. SPA sympathizers working in Arnica's leading virology institute used publicly available scientific publications to guide their work to modify the monkeypox virus to make it more transmissible and resistant to currently available vaccines. Oh no! The discussion in Move 3 focused on governments of dual-use bioscience research as well as current weaknesses in biosafety and biosecurity systems that exacerbate biological risks. So, I just thought that was... Uh, <laughs> that isn't a perfect picture of like who are the ones who really think up terrorist scenarios 
Is it a bunch of uh, Malthusian think tanks? They're not even real countries. They're not even real countries. What are they doing? But are you talking about mil like what? Oh, we need. Yeah, give. You, you know, let's give more money to Brinia and Arnica. What is this continent there? Even map of the fictional company. Like, what do you even say? But basically, the takeaway is that they're, I guess, as they're saying, well, we do, we need more money, we need more more oversight, more power, and then you have this uh, WHO meeting coming up on s Sunday, which is tomorrow, and everyone's been talking about that. It's, it's kind of this process of, so yeah, governments need to improve preparedness by developing national pandemic response plans built upon a coherent system of triggers that prompt anticipatory action on a, quote, no regrets basis. What is the trigger? Bolstering pandemic supply chain resilience. I mean, yeah, it sounds ridiculous. And it is ridiculous because I guess with COVID, it, it was the same where coronaviruses have been around for a long time, but oh, this one's different. And where did it come from? And was it modified? Was it not? And it's like the same scenario that they're just war gaming because why not? Why wouldn't terrorists be doing that? You know, we got to crack down. It's just, man. I mean, they talk about the Russian playbook and the different playbooks, you know. <laughs> I can't believe people get paid. I mean, this whole um, video, uh, the commercial was in this video. It was basically a Zoom meeting between uh, a few of these people. And um, they they're, a lot of it is interviewing this Dr. Emily from France. And she's talking about synthetic gene manufacturing. I literally couldn't even figure out like what the heck this had to do <laughs> with the monkeypox, uh, the fake monkeypox uh, outbreak. But synthetic gene manufacturing was a big part of her discussion. Francisco in the United States, we use a silicon-based technology to synthesize DNA at low cost, large scale, and high quality. And to give you a sense of twist scale. Over the last 12 months, we have shipped more than 370,000 genes, each of which was, care was subject to careful customer and sequence screening for biosecurity concern before manufacturing and shipment. She's lovely. So yeah, event 202 in the books. There you go. <laughs> no further comment. Receiving COVID 19 numbers in several parts of the world, threat to your health is over, then there's something you need to get attention to. It's now monkeypox that is troubling the European nations, along with the United States and Australia, and with that, the viral infection has raised an alarm all across the globe. The map on the screen now shows almost a dozen countries that have reported confirmed cases of monkeypox including European countries like Spain, Portugal, Italy, Sweden, France, Belgium and Germany. And apart from Europe, the United States, Canada and Australia are also some of the other countries that have reported confirmed monkeypox cases. Let us now understand what exactly is monkeypox and to what extent should we be concerned. Monkeypox is a viral infection similar to smallpox. Its origin dates back to the year 1970, as the name suggests. The disease first emerged in monkey skeptical research in the late 1950s. And you can catch the infection if an infected animal bites you, or by touching an infected animal. It is usually spread by rodents like rats, mice, and squirrels. Experts have also observed that monkeypox can be transmitted through sexual contact as well. The disease almost disappeared for 40 years after being eradicated through vaccination in 1980s, but only to re-emerge in Nigeria in the year 2017. The virus mainly has two major strains. The first one called Congo strain and the second one the West African strain. Now, secondly, what are the symptoms that you need to watch out for? Well, if you have fever, muscle ache and chills, then you should get yourself checked. If you are infected, it might take anywhere between 6 to 13 days before the symptoms appear. Currently, there is no specific treatment available for the disease. Now, 
are considering the unusual outbreak, the World Health Organization had called for an emergency meeting of experts to discuss the current situation.